All right, guys. Did a little, little simple how-to video. I mean, majority of you guys probably know this if you guys have, have any type of moderate experience with Kydex. But I have an issue here with the retention being too tight on my uh, this Glock Kydex and leather mag holster here. As you can see here on the, which be the right side here, the mag doesn't even, it's doesn't even come out. It's very, I have to do a lot of pulling on it to get it out and that's no good because it slows down your reloads. But this side I touched up a little bit and it is a lot smoother. Okay, zoom out a little bit here. If you hear a little background music, that's because my neighbor's playing uh, some music in his backyard. But simply all you need uh, to do is pretty much a household uh, hair dryer. This one's a cheap one, but it does come with a high, a high and low uh, setting and a cool, warm, and hot setting. So, um, are you, and with since these are Glock mags. Um, you, you don't want to stay in one spot for too long because you're dealing with a, a lot of uh, polymer and plastic. So you don't want to stay. You want to keep moving. And I'm going to demonstrate that here. In a, in a Settings on high. Um, and I got it up to the hot. Settings on high. We're going to start off with that first. As it heats up for a little bit, as it did here, I can tell the Kydex is extreme, pretty extremely hot. I'm going to drop down that setting to low so it's not blowing out uh, a lot of air. And you just want to keep going in. Don't stay in the same spot for too long. Even if you had steel mags, you don't want to stay in the same spot too long. It's just going to heat up everything way too hot. And it's not even, you're not even going to be able to touch it until it cools down. A little bit over here too. Even though I did loosen this one up uh, prior to this side, which would be uh, your right side, um, it does need a little bit more loosening. Here, maybe about three minutes of doing that. Um, host, uh, Kydex is still a little hot, um, but you can already see. Well, I can already feel uh, the difference between the retention now. And we'll zoom out just a little bit so I can show you that. Now it's very in it. Now it's simple. Now it's starting to get smoothing up. And what you want to do, you want to only do that. It depends on, you know, how high powered your hair dryer is. Um, this one looks like a cheap one, but it does come with these settings that, that really help. But you want to, you know, heat a certain spot up. Of the Kydex, you know, for probably around two to three minutes, and then just go ahead and test it. Uh, let it cool, let the Kydex cool down a little bit, and test the retention. And then, if it needs to be loosened up a little bit more, then you go at it again. Repeat the process for about another two minutes, um, and that's it. Now, these are pretty good. Now, you got to keep in mind when they this design, when it's up against your body, and the, it. When, it, when your belt goes through the belt loops here, there's going to be a little bit added retention because your, your body is going to be hugging it. So you want to keep that in mind. So you might want to loosen it up just a little bit more than this. But that's how simple it is. If you guys didn't know, um, I heard of people taking uh, of heat, uh, heat guns, but that's really not necessary. Uh, a perfect uh, hair dryer, I would think a heat gun a heat gun will probably uh, will heat up too fast and get too hot too fast. So a hair dryer gives off just enough heat to uh, loosen up that Kydex. So that's a quick video, a how-to video. I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys knew how to do that, but just something simple.
So thanks for watching, guys.